The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. This is Christine Langley with the Wyoming Women's Business Center, and I want to welcome you to the QuickBooks training series. This QuickBooks training series is brought to you by our microloan program and the Wyoming Women's Business Center. We're a nonprofit organization that assists individuals who want to start or expand small businesses in the state of Wyoming, and we do this through three primary programs. So the first is business training and counseling. The second is access to capital through our microloan program and individual development accounts programs. And the third is our professional artist development center. So this series, because it's brought to you by the microloan program, I've got the information up here on the screen. We do do microloans anywhere between $500 and $50,000 to help fund business startups and expansions. And those funds are for those unable to get business loans through traditional means. So if you'd like more information on our microloan program, you can contact Waldo Smith. And so for today's series, I'd like to turn it over to Cade Reynolds with Capital Clarity Company. Welcome, Cade. Thank you, Christine. So today we're going to be talking about issuing a, a refund on QuickBooks Desktop. As all business owners know, sometimes you need to issue a refund to the, to the customer. In this video, we'll be showing you how to properly record the issuing of a customer refund in QuickBooks Desktop. In the QuickBooks Desktop file, select Refunds and Credit button from the home screen. From, from here, in the Customer drop-down at the top, you're going to select the customer to whom you are refunding. This should also populate the billing address and the other company information at that point in time. In the Refund lines, you're going to indicate the product service that you're issuing the refund for. Be sure to be careful to select the same product and service that the that you had originally charged the customer for so that it reduces the correct sales account and it also could help with the inventory purposes. Make sure to fill in the quantity, the rate, the amount that the customer is being refunded for. If the customer is being refunded for a product or service that was subject to sales tax, Verify that the taxable jurisdiction is correct and that the correct amount of sales tax is also being refunded. You can then print this refund receipt for your customer by choosing the print drop down at the top of the screen and then selecting credit memo slash refund. At this point, you can select save and close or save and send. You have successfully recorded the issuance of the refund to the customer. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check out our other videos relating regarding more QuickBooks and accounting topics. Thank you so much. I'm going to turn it back over to Christine. Thanks, Cade. The Wyoming Women's Business Center is made possible through several partnership agencies, primarily the U.S. Small Business Administration, as well as, as the Wyoming Business Council. And so we thank them for their support and guidance as we go forward and work ahead through our QuickBooks training series. If you have any questions uh, for the Wyoming Women's Business Center, our contact information is here. And again, if you'd like to contact our microlending director, Waldo Smith, you can reach him uh, from this information on the screen. Thanks, everybody.